Like my pants don't even fit me. Look at, look at this. Look at all this space. I just bought these pants. These are new and they can't fit me. This is crap. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kaya Boyd. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a get ready with me today because I haven't actually done one for you guys yet. So I'm really excited about that. I'm a little nervous too because no one's ever seen me put on makeup and I am not a makeup expert. I don't claim to be at all. So here's the disclaimer. I'm not a makeup expert. I don't know exactly how to actually put on makeup. So you guys are gonna see me mess up or probably do things that you normally don't do, but guess what? It's all for your entertainment, so good luck with uh, watching me fail. I just finished my skincare routine. I just woke up, washed my face, put on toner, moisturizer, the whole nine. So I did all of that and this is me completely barefaced, like no makeup, just moisturizer, so. Looking okay so far? So, primer, and I'm just gonna, just gonna put it on smooth. Kind of with my fingertips. So the first thing we wanna use is our Fenty Beauty. I have Fenty Beauty, my last company bought it for me. Um, they didn't really know which color to buy, so they bought me like three, just to experiment. And I'm kind of in between like a 350, and a three, what is that, 370? So I'm like right in between there, so. And what I do is, this is how I throw it on. Nothing too special about it. Like this is just how I apply makeup. I seen a YouTuber do this and I haven't been able to like stop myself, so. So now I'm gonna spray my little brush thingy, my beauty blender. If, if that's what this is called, I don't know. Just a beauty blender brush. I'm gonna spray that with some, oh, setting spray. Elf Illuminating Mist and Set. So I'm gonna do that. This is exactly how I like get my foundation in my face. So I'll do it on one side first. I'll start at the top. Just try to get like a little bit. The way I do my like, putting on my makeup is literally like, I don't know, maybe it's backwards, but <laughs> this is how I've, I learned how to do it on from watching YouTube because I am not very skilled in the art of makeup at all. And I don't claim to be. <laughs> I didn't start actually applying makeup until 2017. And I don't mean makeup, makeup, but I mean like foundation and concealer and all the rest of those things. The only thing I would put on would be like moisturizer, barely that. <laughs> but I would put on like some moisturizer, some primer, blush, lipstick, and do my mascara. And that was my go-to. Like I had stuck to doing that all the time. And that's how I, that's just how I live my life. I wasn't even like too big on eyebrows before, so. If you see old pictures of me with my eyebrows jacked up, you know why. How we looking? We looking good? Get some concealer going. So I have LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. Lovely. Think I need it there, I don't know. I definitely need it on that pimple. Pimple hurt. And uh, yeah, I don't really know where else like concealer goes. I just throw it wherever. Uh, maybe on my nose. You guys remember Anna? She would help me do my makeup and it looked really good, but I'm like, nah, I gotta figure out what I'm doing because I don't want her doing my makeup every time I wanna go out. So yeah, I started watching videos and I got a little better, still was terrible. And even now, like, <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I learned so much. I did, but I still have a lot I could learn. Oh, this concealer. It's nice. Oh, lots of, ooh. Can y'all see that? I can barely see my dog on self. So, ooh, I lots of, mm, y'all. <laughs> That's some good concealer, bro. Like, that one's a really good one. I'm going to have to, like, buy some more of that. First of all, let me put on some chapsticks. My lips ashy. Can't handle ashy lips. This chapstick is from Japan. It's just like some UV lip cream. Just call it chapstick. 
while you apply just call it chapstick there's, there's nothing creamy about it it's just chapstick eyebrows are kind of difficult for me so i do those when i get a chance first of all y'all like why is it so little well it broke off of my, my pencil that i was using so i'm just like screw it whatever it's this is what we got this is what we working with i am not good with my eyebrows so they might look like twins they might look like cousins i don't know we gonna see it says stylish dark brown eyebrow and i got this from a korean dollar store so it's not anything special but i bought it at daiso if you guys know and yeah so how they looking they looking okay so far i guess i got this thing from elf and it's like eyebrow shader thing um yeah like i said i don't really know what i'm doing with my eyebrows so i'm just like hoping that they turn out decent again i don't know what i'm doing i'm literally just playing in it and praying to god that they come out like okay okay they starting to look like cousins they ain't looking like twins contouring i'm gonna do my nose and then i'm just gonna put a little on the top of my forehead because i got <laughs> i got some uh leftovers from the brush and i don't do my cheeks or anything because i don't know how to do that so guys i just wanted to say that things are changing for me in korea like things are changing quite a bit and it has a lot to do with the fact that i joined a new company but this isn't just like i joined a uh, i don't know where to start so yeah i joined a new company and it is a modeling kind of company actually it's an entertainment company again but this one is focused on a lot of different areas of entertainment like acting and uh, dancing modeling things like that so with this company i am a model i'm an i am an actress and i am also like a dancer singer blah, blah, blah. so not really too much of a difference from my last company except with my last company i was like a trainee so yeah i'm with a new company and i'm in america right now to kind of change over like my visa paperwork yeah and so with joining a new company i have to get like whole new paperwork like i have to do so many different things like i gotta get new visa stuff so that is why i had to come to america so i can like get a new visa for my new company and yeah so there's gonna be a lot of big changes in store you know for the near future so i'm really excited about that Oh, I forgot to show you guys like my contour palette. So this is Anastasia, Beverly Hills, but a lot of like name brand kind of things, popular kind of things you can buy at the department store in Korea. A lot of times I'll buy things from the department stores in Korea and I'll just mix them with like the darker things that I have, like that I collect from like, um, when I go to Itaewon, I'll go to the beauty supply and I'll buy darker makeup or I'll buy darker things and just mix them with what I have to make me. I like the look of kind of like a shinier look because in Korea that's considered more like beautiful and it's like it looks like it's healthier skin when your skin is kind of like glowing and like kind of shiny and things like that and at first like I would not like I did not like that and I hate it when companies tried to like make my skin look dewy and stuff. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like it looks too shiny. Like in America, we don't have a, like a shiny look. We kind of have something that's more matte. And after a while, I got so used to it. So this is what I do. So I'm gonna put on mascara. Oh, my eyelash from Etude House. It's a primer, like eyelash primer. And this is mascara that's supposed to be like uh, the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, but I got it from AliExpress. Just finished my base. My eyes are like Jack Frost and stuff. So just wanted to show you guys what it looked like from the inside. And now I'm going to go ahead and throw on my mascara. Alrighty, so this is how I'm throwing on my mascara. 
So my daily life is pretty much filled with chaos because I'm, if I'm not like doing some kind of photo shoot, then maybe I'm filming, which these days I'm doing more photo shoots than I am doing like filmings and stuff. And then if I'm doing more like commercials and things, I also have um, my Korean that I'm studying. I wouldn't say like I'm studying a super ton these days because I'm like trying to prepare so many different things. Like I'm actually thinking of launching like some individual business. Like I want to do like a makeup line and not, necess not necessarily makeup because I'm like I told y'all I'm not like all that makeup but like I love lipsticks and I've loved lipsticks forever so I want to do like a lipstick line and I've been considering this and thinking about this for like a year now a year or two ow no okay crap so I'm in the process of like starting that up looking into like what vendors I'm gonna go with and different things like that because don't get me wrong, I love my job. I love like being a model and I love like being an actress and singing and dancing and like writing music, writing music as well. Like I'm working on songs. I've been saying that I wanted to release an EP this year and things are a little behind because well, I, act I like have other like things that I'm doing on top of like I'm going to school online still. So I'm trying to juggle like full-time jobs on top of like full-time school and it is just wonderful. It's just great. So yeah, it's a little hard because I wanna put all my like, I wanna put all my focus and my work into my songs and and even like my biz other side businesses, but I can't really do that like I want. And being a YouTuber, like, it, it's so cool. You know, besides the fact that you sit and talk in front of a camera and like no one's there to respond to you. It's cool, it's just, you know, when you first start out, there's really nothing happening. Like there's no revenue and you're not, partially it's almost like, am I seeing any result? any results and for as someone who like you know I'm really I want to say I'm, I'm very organized when it comes to a lot of things and my mindset is really business orientated and kind of like I do like to get stuff done but when things pile on top of each other all at once then I kind of start slacking and I'm just like I, I need to de-stress de and that's how I feel about YouTube these days. Like I don't, I really don't have the time to even give it the attention that I want to. It's time to do some blush. I love blush. I have my special Dior blush, look at that. So I don't know what color this is, but I've had it for like two years. It lasts me so long. I'm really happy that, you know, you guys constantly watch my videos and you stick around and I'm really grateful because I would, love that I tell my story myself instead of like, you know, people having assumptions about me or how I am or people who don't even know anything about me. It's just good for me to like do it, like say how I feel and kind of like make my own like way. So my daily life, I'm doing all these things and can't forget my turtle, gotta take care of him, Patrick. You guys remember Patrick. He is a lovely, lovely turtle. Causes me so much trouble. Because if if he's not like making weird noises in his little tank, he's usually flipped over from the excitement of getting in and out of the water. He's just really loud and I love him so much. So yeah, that's my turtle. And that's my highlight. Not sure if you guys can see it. Um, I'm still new to the whole highlighting craze. Oh, this is Fenty Beauty highlighter. Um, what is this? 
This is some Mean Money Hustla Baby. My sister, my little sister told me to get this one because uh, yeah, I did research, didn't know how to put on makeup and I was asking what to buy and this is what they suggested I do, so. Um, apparently there's a such thing that says like you can never have too much highlighter. I disagree. Sometimes too much is too much. So I don't know if I'm putting too much, but uh, yeah, just, I guess I'll just leave it on because what other choice would I have? Highlighter done. And last but not least, let's do our lips. So first of all, I just want to say that I am so happy I got to see my sisters. Like I really, really, really love my sisters and I'm so happy that I got to see them after all of this time. I usually am not too sentimental in that department. Like, I'm like, oh, I can go a long time without seeing my family, I, I'll be okay. But I was actually really happy to see my family. So, good. They took me everywhere and they kind of like, were showing me around and showing me like, how to be an American again. <laughs> and, they're all so sweet. They're extremely talented with makeup. They let me borrow their clothes from time to time, even when I was an older sister and I didn't let them borrow mine. So yeah, they're pretty nice. Like this lip pencil, I don't know who it is. I'm assuming it's some cheap, some cheap brand. Persistent? Um, must, I don't know who this is. I just got it, so. Today's color, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use a couple, cause I like to mix colors. I don't like just one color. So, I got the NK Makeup uh, Matte Silky Stick. American brand as well. So, oh that's cute. Oh that's real cute. Oh, hold on. Okay, you know what, I might not have to have the us. This cute. I, I like this one. Hi, I just rubbed my lips together like I just did that. And sometimes it kind of looks like I'm overlining, but I'm not. It's just because my lips are kind of kind of big already. So I just did that. And I really like the color, but um, I want to add a little pop to it. So I'm going to put a little like red that I have. And this is what? 3CE, so Style Nanda, velvet lip tint. I love Style Nanda, Korean brand. And I just add it to the inside. And I do that, like, yeah. <laughs> that noise. So I do that and, and that is my lip like thing going on. So now I'm gonna spray my face. And we'll do that, so. Okay, so, woo, sprayed my face. So I was thinking, you guys, like, as I'm waiting for this to dry, I kind of want a fandom. Like, I want a fandom name. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool when, like, people have fans and they're like, oh, like, my fans are called this or my fans are called that. Like how Beyonce has the beehive and that's, like, super cute. It's like, I love it, it works perfectly for her. And like BTS has like ARMY, like that's so cool. <laughs> so I kind of want my own fan base, like my own fandom. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know because it's cool and I want one myself. I'm just gonna take my hair, don't look at my underarms, thank you. Cause I think it's dried enough and I'm just going to like take my brush, hold on. Just going to brush it to the front. Um, so my hair is not gonna lie, it was actually like this when I woke up because I sleep with a bonnet on and what I do with my hair is I usually curl it a day, couple days in advance and I love like curling my hair because it'll wave anyway. So I'll curl it and it'll stay just like that with the bonnet on for days at a time and I won't have to like even touch it. Like the only time I'll touch it is when I need to touch it up. But yeah, it's, it just stays like this and it's like extra freaking cool. So all I have to do when I get a hold of it is just brush it and this is the final look. 
So this is my get ready with me look. And as you can see, <laughs> my lovely belly button, my lovely belly button is sticking out. So with my pants. Okay guys, so that was my get ready with me. I'm going to get ready and go. I gotta go to the bookstore, gotta go hang out with a few friends, and I'm gonna go look more fabulous outside because I think I'm just wasting it sitting inside talking to the camera over here. So I'm really glad I could do this get ready with you guys for the first time. And I hope you guys liked my routine like my kind of like get ready with me routine. I hope you guys liked my little rambling and my little talk. And yeah, hopefully you guys can uh, <laughs> teach me more about makeup and how to like work makeup and stuff like that. So like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below. The easiest and the fastest way for you to get my attention and to get a response from me is to comment because that's where I see it and I love reading your comments. So thank you very much, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for existing and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to do that. So love you guys. Bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.